What's going on guys? Cabana Greg here for another Throwback Thursday review. Now this week's Throwback Thursday review is for a game that honestly the only reason I bought it was because I heard it was a very easy game to platinum. I was reading an article on one of the PlayStation forums and they were all saying, oh this is such an easy game to platinum in like a couple hours and you're good. So I thought, why not? I'm gonna buy it. It was on sale at the time so I was like, I'm just gonna buy it and see what happens. Well, <laughs> what actually happened was within the first five minutes of playing this game, I was I was immediately hooked. It went from being a game that I thought I was just gonna pick up for a couple hours and then put down and never ever play again, to a game that I was actually very fascinated with and just always looking forward to seeing what was gonna happen next. This is my review of Virginia. Please enjoy. Now I know I started the beginning of this video with some really glowing remarks about Virginia, but make no mistake, Virginia is not a game for everyone. Virginia is very similar to those other walking simulator games that are out there, very similar to Everybody's Gone to the Rapture, for example. Throughout the course of Virginia, not a single word of dialogue is ever spoken. Instead, you come to an overall understanding of the narrative through visuals, color, and sound. Now this may be a problem for some, but personally, I wound up feeling more as a result. I was always trying to piece together what exactly was going on in each given scenario, and I was always trying to read characters based on their expressions, based on the music, and based on the overall light and tone of a scene. It's another level of storytelling that we really don't see that often in games. Now, Virginia's story is rather basic, but I feel like it sets up plenty of other surprises. In Virginia, you play as Special Agent Ann Tarver freshly recruited to the FBI and thrust straight into a missing persons case in an otherwise uneventful town in Virginia. Now to say much more than that would kind of screw over you guys who are interested in playing this game because Virginia is a game best experienced knowing as little as possible going in. For me personally, I had no idea what to expect and it really made for a more enjoyable experience. The game reminded me of a David Lynch film. It's both experimental in its structure and surreal through its imagery. At first I wasn't sold on the visual styles of Virginia, but as the game went on I really came to appreciate the overall design. The game possesses a striking, low-poly aesthetic. Its landscapes are stark and clean. Its character models are very light on detail. The game and its art direction hooked me, and there were plenty of beautiful sequences throughout the course of the game. One scene in particular featured Anne and her partner drinking a few beers while on top of a watchtower. The starry night sky and dense woodlands had me gawking at the screen in amazement. The way that Virginia's narrative is cut together is very similar to a short film. In fact, Virginia as a whole is a very cinematic game. Transitions are complemented by crescendos in the music. Pretty much all of the visual elements are synced together with audio cues and musical overtures. Now, Virginia can be completed in a little under two hours, which may sound ridiculous, but the game is perfectly paced out and I never found the game to drag in any particular sections. I was always interested in the forward moving narrative and I was always looking forward to seeing what crazy weird stuff was gonna happen next. Trust me guys, things get pretty weird in this game, but it's pretty cool. It is an incredibly short experience for sure, but I feel like there is enough here to keep you interested. So if you're looking for a well-crafted, cinematic, and relatively short experience, guys, give Virginia a try. The game manages to say so much without there ever being a line of dialogue uttered by any of the characters, and I think that's a true testament to the game and its overall craft. Until next time, this has been Cabana Greg for another Throwback Thursday review. Thank you guys for listening, thank you guys for watching, and hopefully I will see you guys very soon.